It's been five years since the last Descendants movie came out. And we finally got to see the spin-off, The Rise of Red. New cast, new songs, and even more thrilling adventures. Hi! <laughs> Watch this video to find out who proposed to her boyfriend. Learn if something is going on between Ruby Rose Turner and Joshua Colley. And discover the dating advice Kylie Cantrell got from Rita Ora. Let's go! Ruby Rose Turner as Bridget. This charming version of the Queen of Hearts truly won us over. And in real life, 18-year-old Ruby is just as much of a sweetheart as her character. As a huge franchise fan, the actress was over the moon to land a role in the film. I just, I wanted it so badly, and so for every audition, I was like putting my life on the line for it. Turner started dancing at just four years old and has won numerous awards for her talent. The girl even appeared twice on ABC's Dancing with the Stars for special live performances. Ruby's acting career began with appearances on shows like Fuller House and Blackish. But her big break came with the lead role in Disney's Coop and Cami Ask the World. When it comes to her love life, there's not much information available. According to rumors, she dated Instagram star Ashton Rowland in 2017. But after the release of The Rise of Red, fans noticed Ruby's adorable interactions with her co-star Joshua Colley. Is there love in the air? Let's find out! Joshua Colley as Hook Despite fans' hopes for a romance, it seems Colley and Turner are just close friends in real life. In fact, in the ABC documentary, Pride to be Seen, the actor first spoke about his sexuality. I am still learning who I am and what I like, and I don't really feel like I'm wanting to put a label on myself. It's ever-changing and ever-evolving. Joshua then added that he's definitely not straight. The 22-year-old actor is very private about his romantic life and mostly discusses work in interviews. Kali has been familiar with acting from a young age, appearing in Broadway hits like Les Miserables and You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. You can also catch him in popular TV series like Dead Boy Detectives and Love, Victor. In his appearance in Descendants, the actor enjoyed playing young Hook. And I, it was so much fun. Like truly, this has been one of my favorite characters I've gotten to play thus far. Now, let's shift our focus to the younger version of Cinderella. Morgan Dudley as Ella. This lady can win anyone over with her beautiful voice. The decision's always up to you When there's only one thing left to do Morgan has dreamed of becoming a singer since childhood. That's why she started her career with musical productions. Before Descendants, Dudley had only small appearances in The Prom and A Tourist's Guide to Love. So landing the role of Ella definitely boosted her recognition. As a woman of color, Morgan is proud to be a role model for young girls. The 23-year-old keeps her love life under wraps, so we don't know if she's dating anyone. And now, let's uncover some interesting details about the main villainess of the film. Dara Renee as Uliana. Unlike her character, the 23-year-old actress radiates positive energy in real life. Despite her upbeat nature, Dara was excited to take on the role of Ursula's younger sister. It was it was very fun to play a dark character. I, it was weird, but I love it. Renee made her acting debut in 2018 with the Disney original movie, Freaky Friday. But her big break came with the role of Courtney in high school musical, The Musical, The Series. As for the romance in her life, the actress is reportedly single and focused on her career. Even her Instagram primarily features her work projects. Of course, we can't forget the leads of the movie. Malia Baker as Chloe. Previously, you might have seen the actress in shows like The Babysitter's Club and Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark Revival? One reason Malia joined the Descendants spin-off is its female-driven plotline. As an advocate for women's rights, it was important for Baker to portray a strong character with whom young girls could relate. Everything that you do, like hold it with some sort of legacy and some sort of honor of what you would want yourself to look at when you were younger. And Did you know that her blue wig in the movie is actually a replica of Malia's own hair? The actress was excited for such a representation. 
It truly is weighing heavy on my mind and I think weighs heavy on most of the cast because we're able to see it and feel it from a perspective that we've all lived before. In her personal life, the actress doesn't share much. There were rumors that Baker dated her, Are You Afraid of the Dark co-star Bryce Geysar? But both have confirmed that they are just good friends. It seems like 17-year-old Malia is currently single and exploring new career opportunities. I would love to be in the directing space at some point. I produced my first film this year, so hopefully that'll be the next step along this journey. Now, it's time to talk about her on-screen bestie. Kylie Control as Red. With a music producer dad and a dance choreographer mom, this girl was destined for fame. It was Kylie's father who helped her start the YouTube series, Hello Kylie, where she reviewed Disney Channel shows. At just 13, she gained fame with the series Gabby Duran and the Unsittables, and then joined high school musical The Musical The Series for season four. The 19-year-old Cantrell is also a singer and songwriter. She has several successful singles and is preparing to release her EP this year. According to Kylie's social media, she's currently not in a relationship. Maybe she took the advice of her colleague Rita Ora. She said, don't waste your time. They suck. <laughs> but in reality, she's just waiting for someone truly special. It's really about seeing your worth and not settling for anyone who makes you feel like you're not enough. Next, let's move on to her on-screen mom. Rita Ora as the Queen of Hearts. Rita is best known for her singing career and hits like Let You Love Me and Black Widow. She has also served as a judge on popular shows like The X Factor and The Masked Singer. Regarding her acting portfolio, you might have seen her in the Fifty Shades of Grey franchise and Pokemon Detective Pikachu. And now she plays the evil Queen of Hearts in The Rise of Red. I like the drama of it all. I really do. I think I'm really embracing Queen of Hearts and making her as dramatic as possible. But what about her love life? Previously, Aura dated Scottish DJ Calvin Harris and musician Andrew Watt. In 2021, the singer found happiness with director Taika Waititi. This woman, who's 33 now, knows exactly what she wants. She proposed to her then-boyfriend while on vacation in 2022. The couple tied the knot a few weeks later. Fans love the humor and chemistry of this duo. Taika, get out of my short! <laughs> and lastly, we can't forget about another queen of the film, Brandy Norwood as Cinderella. We all loved her in the 1997 Cinderella film. And now the actress is thrilled to return to her role in Descendants. But she has still made some changes to the character. I think my favorite part about Cinderella's style is that she has queen vibes. She's such a queen, princess-like, and, and I just love the way it feels. It feels very um, regal. The 45-year-old Norwood has reached remarkable heights in the music industry and became one of the most successful female R&B artists of the 1990s. Brandy has sold over 40 million records worldwide and has received numerous awards, including a Grammy for her single, The Boy Is Mine. The singer's dating history is quite extensive, too. She was linked to the late Lakers legend Kobe Bryant, NBA guard Quentin Richardson, and rapper Flo Rida. Brandy also has a daughter, Syrai, from her relationship with producer Robert Big Bert Smith. She feels good to know that she's the inspiration for, 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 for me, for everything that I am, everything that I'm about. At the moment, Norwood is reportedly single and is actively focusing on her work. Her new film, The Front Room, will be released in September. What do you think about the new spinoff? If you want to learn more about the franchise and its cast, let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.